Welcome back to Place Collectible Channel from Winter, California. Today is Wednesday, March the 13th, 2019. And this is Show and Tell. Today is a good day because it's middle of the week for you guys. Two more days and you're off of work. And you can come and visit Place Collectibles if you live around here. Anyways, it's Show and Tell. Let's start with this box right here. Which is called the Retro Wheels Vintage Collector Pack. And it, this was a Target exclusive. And I could probably tell this is probably like from the maybe 99 maybe. Let me check the back of the, well, 97 actually. Because this is 96. You always have to put a year ahead on every package from Mattel. So if it says 96, 97. If it says 97, it's 98. So let's check it out. See what it says right here. This is a school bus. So this is like a from the vintage series reproduction of red lines whipped creamer and the mutt mobile famous mutt mobile it has like a little dog in the back and this is the famous car that everyone likes can you guys guess what it is hmm yes give up yes or no all right, I'll let you guys think about it. Let's see, let's see. Can you guys think of it? Hmm, Red Baron. I guess you guys were thinking, huh? Well, it's the Red Baron. A lot of people grew up with this car. Uh, some people, when they first got this car, probably got hurt because this one had like a little spike on the top right here. And Mattel redid a second car and they took out the spike because people are complaining, especially with the cross that I had right here, a black cross. Well, anyways, this is my show and tell about these four awesome cars that they call retro wheels from Target. And this feels cool about it, actually. Let me read all this that's in here. It says, since, 60, since 1968, Hot Wheels... The hottest, the hottest die-cast model cars have raced down the track to the checker flag and into the heart of every kid who owned them. Remember when orange track wrapped around the coffee table and looped for a race to the finish on the living room floor? Yeah, I done that before when I was a little kid. And this is a cool thing, actually, about Hot Wheels, since you guys still mess around with Hot Wheels, probably open them and play with them. Tune up tips, okay? Do not oil wheels and axles. Ordinary oils form wheels. Keep wheels and axles in proper alignment like all fine race cars. Hot Wheels race faster and farther when wheels and axles are straight. The special thin racing axles may need periodically adjustment. If so, carefully bend the wheels back into position. Do not pull. Keep your Hot Wheels die-cast metal cars looking clean and pristine. Use a slightly damp cloth and polish gently. Then dry with a soft, clean cloth. There it is. That's pretty cool. Anyways, that's a pretty good tip for you guys. Well, we're done with this. Maybe one day I'll decide to open it. Let's go next. This is a Hot Wheels 48 carry case. I don't know if I have 48 cars in here. I'll check right now. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there's a mixture of stuff in here. Okay. Here we have a military vehicle. And this is pretty old. Convoy. This is called a convoy. Top does come off, I think. Let me see. Yep, it does come off. See everyone? It's made in Malaysia too. So there it is, Troop Convoy. It says US Army on the hood. Pretty cool. Black wheels. And let me see. It's plastic bottom. So not bad. Alright, what else do we have in here? Okay, we have another half track tank. By Hot Wheels, yes, they made it with the gun right here in the back. 
Safety first, remember that. Don't play with guns. Only adults could manage guns or weapons. So, this is pretty cool. Awesome piece. Alright, next. Here we have an old tank that goes up and down. See right here? Goes up and down, but it doesn't turn around. And it's pretty cool. It's all metal on the side. Plastic on the bottom. Pretty cool. Alright, next. We have a Ford T-Bird in here. And it's pretty cool. Turquoise cutter with white walls, metal bottom. And it's, it has some crazy decals on top. Purple and yellow. Next. Here we have this awesome, cool, probably early 90s. I think it's the 31 Doozy. It's missing the top. I don't know where, what happened to it. Metal bottom. Awesome piece. Next. We have a 1957 Chevy with gold hubs and metal bottom. Well, actually, plastic bottom. Cool engine sticking out of the hood. Pretty cool. Next, we have a Cadillac. And this is product 1980s casting. But the color, I don't know what year this is from. Probably 87, 88. Pretty cool. Has a sunroof. Pretty awesome piece. Next, we have the famous Ford Bronco. You know who made it famous? I don't want to mention any names. It has a motorcycle on the back and red. And it says Ford on the side. And it's metal bottom. Pretty tough. Flames on the hood. Basic wheels. All right, next. We have the Citation Wagon, or a sedan, and it's metal bottom, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have some of these oldies. Alright, here we have a Real Riders racing car, and it's pretty cool, metal bottom. It says Goodyear on the wheels, the number two on the top and the side. So it's an Indy car. All right, next we have this cool, awesome blown Camaro Z28. The engine sticking out of the hood. And it says Z28 Camaro on the side, metal bottom. Pretty cool, awesome piece. Next, we have a 40s Woody in yellow with wood. Plastic wood, black top, metal bottom, it's a high ranker. High ranker is like the wheels go up and down. But this one looks tough right here. I think it's old already. It won't go up. Well, you get what I'm trying to do. Pretty sure some of you guys have some of these. Alright, let's go to the next level. We have the Dixie Challenger. And nice orange red, chrome bottom, basic wheels. It looks pretty cool. This is where they made the Roger Dodger from. It's from this car. Okay, so that you guys all you know the one that has a engine sticking out of the top. It's this car. Just in case you didn't know, Roger Dodger. All right, next we had the Byway Men truck. Remember, we had a video on this yesterday. Looks pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Look at that color. Metal bottom, basic wheels, snow plow in the front. Next, here we have a Jeep. I think it's the Jeep Wagoneer or Jeep Commando. One of those. Basic wheels, metal bottom. Next. Here we have a cool looking BMW in blue, tan interior, sunroof, basic wheels, plastic bottom, made in Malaysia, 
All right, next, I have another T-Bird in the turquoise color, plastic bottom. Next, this awesome cool low boy in white with flames on the side, basic wheels, metal bottom, made in Hong Kong. All right, next, we have this cool Corvette for St. Patrick's Day theme. The little three leaf clover in there. I'm ready. I'm gonna hang this around my neck so I won't get pinched. It has green. Look at that. Gold rims, plastic bottom. Pretty cool. C6 Corvette. Next, we have the. It says race rescue, but it's you know it's a first aid fire department vehicle it's pretty cool chrome bottom basic wheels cool color race rescue that's true they do need one well, there's, there's a race people crash they need safety all right next we have this cool 300 zx that they made back in the early 90s and the doors do open Check it out. I know that right now there's a white one coming out. You guys can find it at the store. But it's not the same casting. This one's a little bit different. No sunroof or the T-tops. But it's a cool tan interior. Metal bottom. Basic wheels. Pretty cool. And you can see the gla uh, the front lights right here. They're glass. You see, oh well, plastic. You know? Looks like real glass, but it's the plastic. Awesome piece. All right, next, we have this cool, awesome police car. It says one, two, three on the top. The star on the hood. It's police on the side. Pretty cool. Metal bottom, so it's heavy duty. Bulletproof. Awesome piece. All right, next, we have another Pathfinder or uh, Byway man truck, the snow plow in the front, cool graphics on the side says midnight removal, red interior and metal bottom, basic wheels, pretty cool, it's a Chevy, remember that, from the fall guy, alright, next, with this awesome cool looking Bugatti, yes it's a Bugatti, and it's pretty cool, it's 1937 Bugatti. Awesome piece, metal bottom, basic wheels, two-tone color. Pretty cool. You guys like it? I do. Next, we have this high ranker Dodge truck. It's so like a mini truck, back probably from the 80s. The camper, where does the camper come off? Nope. Then come off. All right, there it is. Lower it. Now it's normal. At the bottom, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have this truck too. Next, see what we have in here. I have a lot of these. Okay, so I'll just show you one. Fit 66 Dodge Fairlane GT. Pretty cool. Old metal bottom, rear riders, and it's like a charcoal gray or black red interior. Awesome piece. And next we have this cool, awesome from the Garage Series 68 Cougar metal bottom, rear riders, cool flames on the side, one sunroof cut out right there. Cool detail lights. I like the flames are pretty cool. Awesome piece. Next, Mazda Miata. In red and metal bottom. It's all red. It says Miata on the hood. Pretty cool. Okay, next, Lamborghini Countach. There it is. Pretty cool. Metal bottom. 
in Malaysia, all white, basic wheels, tinted windows. Awesome piece. Cool. We have this concept Corvette, which is pretty cool. They call it the Corvette Stingray. Look at the front. It looks like a shark. The number 59 on the side. Awesome car. I wouldn't mind having the real one, of course. But they only made one. Oh well. Alright. This is our, our second show and tell. Alright, our third show and tell box. Uh, let's see what's inside. Safety first, everyone. Let me see if I find my key or razor blade. Let's open it up. Alright, safety first, everyone. Only adults could open this. Boxes like this, kids. Listen to your parents. Let's see what's inside. Alright, cut the other side. Half empty or what? Yep, half empty. All right, well, we have the supernatural during the hunt. Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor. Pretty cool police car. Has a light bar on top. Push bars on the front. Uh, it says sheriff, I think. Yeah, it says sheriff on the hood. There it is. I guess I have to see the move, uh, the show to find out what this sheriff does. It said Stoot falls, uh, falls on the side. Well, we need sheriff in town to patrol the Hot Wheels. We don't want the Hot Wheels to be breaking the law and racing all over. We need peace in Hot Wheel land. Well, it looks like they're all the same, guys. Let's see. white a little chase piece let's see do I see green green oh no green I don't see a chase here well there it is everyone show and tell is over thank you for checking in this Wednesday evening and uh, I'm very hungry so I need to go home and eat and maybe do some hunting later on so hopefully you guys will do the same or hopefully you found some goodies today. If not, you could always have tomorrow and go hunting and do the hot wheel exercise, everyone. Sharing is caring. Respect each other. And let's network. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers by May. We're almost there. We're at 761, I believe. So keep doing the good work of referring me other new subscribers. Like always, I thank you a lot and for supporting my channel and it's your channel too so don't feel like it's just mine it's all of us we're all doing good we're all putting a little part of everything so good luck and have a good evening everyone and adios